Good morning, friends. We are in the parking garage right now. Hi. Pulling up. <laughs> pulling up to Bamsi, where Oakley will be getting his ear tube surgery today. So today's surgery day. Ben and Elodie are dropping us off because Elodie is school today and Ben's gonna then go drop Elodie off and then he's gonna come back here and join me. Luckily, they said that was allowed, which is really good. So hopefully he'll be able to be there for some of it. Is that parking spot right here, Ben, on the corner? Yeah. Um, but if you don't know where BAMC is, it's Fort Sam Houston. It's like their big military hospital here. So we are getting ready to go in there. Oakley cannot have milk or any food or anything um, until after surgery. So, so far he's doing well, but it'll be a little sticky in there possibly because he's gonna want me and I'm the only one with him. And when I say me, he wants my boobs. So we're gonna get out of the car right now, get him loaded up in the stroller and head in. fantastic Ben got back just in the nick of time to basically like pick us up which it it was a bummer that he couldn't be there for more of it obviously but it also worked out because at least Elodie was able to go to school and enjoy her day and that wasn't disrupted yeah because she was so excited to go to school today after the break and then you know Ben was still able to help coordinate it all 
and be there to drop us off and be there to pick us up and everything. Oakley did fantastic. He wasn't too happy with waking up. Um, it was honestly just because he doesn't like waking up even from like a normal nap at home. He wants to breastfeed as soon as he wakes up and they wanted him to have water first. And so he drank a little bit of water and then he was like, this isn't breast milk. Like, I want to breastfeed. So once they let him breastfeed, he was perfectly fine. And now he's just super groggy. So um, he's, I'm sure, just sleeping back there right now um, in his car seat. It literally took less than 15 minutes, I would say. Yeah. Um, and there really wasn't two concerns. They now said that if he does get an ear infection, we're going to be able to know for sure because it's going to be draining out of his ears. And they gave me ear drops to treat it at home. So that's amazing. No more yucky anti antibiotics because for Oakley, he would get the antibiotics and they would actually destroy his stomach. And then he would have constant diarrhea like six times a day and then it would destroy his butt. Um, and he would get like fungal infections on his booty. So it was just like a whole bad situation all around because then they're putting him on or wanting to put him on antibiotics for his butt. <laughs> and so it's just like a vicious circle. So that is gonna stop all of that. And hopefully just no more ER trips for ear oh, infections geez, anymore. Yes, <laughs> so yeah, that's really positive. Now we're on for Sam Houston and we decided to make use of the time because we got done so quickly there. And real quick, we're going to go and stop by ITT. If you don't know what ITT is, it's information, tickets, and travel. He's still awake back there, I hear him. Wow. Yeah, he's still awake back right there. And pick up our Disney tickets for next month. So military members and their families and stuff get four day or five day park hopper tickets for a discounted rate. And I did the math the other night. Oh my gosh, it's a big difference. It was like, a thousand or fifteen hundred maybe difference um so you save a lot of money by going through itt or if you're army i guess mwr okay so we've been driving around looking for the mwr which i figured out what that means now because i have to look up the building number it means morale welfare and recreation what, Very was, the, what was the building number army um building 124. oh that's not gonna help okay well did you do 1212 Nine. Stanley Road? No. The first time? No. Okay, let me try that. Brought me to somebody's random ass house. <laughs> okay, well, let's try this one. Now go left. I can't go left here. Go right. left! I can't. Why not? I'm not in the left turn lane. Oh. <laughs> I'm in the straight lane. Okay, y'all. So we realize that I think this is my first time being on an army base ever. I feel like I live a sheltered life. This is the Navy building right here. That's why there's it's big a cool looking building. Navy, Navy anchors. But um, Army bases are something to see. They're a sight to see. We first went down, like Ben said, it dropped us <laughs> off at like a neighborhood. And this neighborhood looked like it had torture cells in its garage. That's because it did. <laughs> That's was... what they, they built that just to work out in. <laughs> oh my gosh. Like. That looks so okay. rough. Army bases are so different though. They're very tan. Everything is just tan with red roofs. Oakley has been doing fantastic today. Um, he was a little groggy when we got home from picking Elodie up from school and everything. And we decided to try and put him down for a nap. And he did sleep for a little while. And then since then, he's been up and playing and honestly just acting normal. Like you would never know anything happened today. Overall, the experience was really good. Um, I was really happy with the doctors at BMC. I'm mixing up a zip fizz right now in case you're wondering. You've heard me talk about these before, but they're like the Zip Fizz energy drinks. Chippy's on the couch. Oh, this boy. These, this is my favorite flavor right now, the peach mango. You can get them at Costco no or sure. through Amazon, um, but we love them. I really honestly have no complaints. The surgery was really simple. It was a little nerve wracking. All right, he's nursing right now. The surgery was really simple. The scariest or... The most nerve-wracking part of the whole process, watching him go to sleep, obviously, in the um, operating room, and then seeing him wheeled back and him just like laying on the stretcher, not awake yet. But um, it was totally safe, like it was totally fine. He did really well, he doesn't seem phased by it too much. There was a couple times today where Elodie was being pretty loud, and he like started crying and grabbing his ears, and then a couple seconds later, he would be like playing and happy. And so I think maybe, 
some noises are louder to him right now, having the tu tubes in his ears, which the nurses and doctors said that was normal and that we may find that happening. So that was the only difference we saw. He also got a um, bee sting today, which is a huge bummer. Did you clean the bee up? No. So it's gone, which makes me feel like that's what Stella probably barked up. Yeah. Oh my gosh, Stella. No, I was too busy like with him yeah. and everything I else. Didn't, you know, I didn't think about it. And it's like the whole splat from my squish in yeah. my boot, gone. So she ate the beanie and then threw it back up. So we got home and Ben carried Oakley inside, no big deal. Like we literally went from the car to inside. And when we got inside, Oakley was walking around at my feet and he started crying all of a sudden like in pain and I was thinking like oh he's overtired and probably his ears maybe hurt <laughs> which the doctors said they shouldn't really hurt today but that's what I was thinking and I looked down and I saw a bee on his neck and so I grabbed the bee and threw it off but it had already stung him so we had to pull the stinger out of his neck and um, he was not happy but then he honestly brushed it off pretty quickly and luckily like I wonder if it's, it's that calamine spray that's right there maybe and then the, the cortisone cream and we put that on him like instantly yeah and so I mean it's it, it really like the swelling went down really quick I know it looks so much quick. better yeah. so that was just like unfortunate though because uh, today of all days like it was yeah. sad for him to have to go through that also but Tough boy. that's okay so we're probably gonna get put him down for bed soon and then Ben and I have to stay up till midnight because we have to check into our cruise tonight because we're a month out which is pretty exciting um, so we're going to do that.